Hi everyone, uh, I'm Mattis, this is Ishwan, and our project is called eFrancesco, um, based on real life Francesco, who is an acquaintance of ours. Um, essentially, the problem we're solving today is a problem of a promoter for high end clubs, nightclubs in London. Um, currently, what he does on a daily basis is he sends out messages by the ones on the right to contacts in his directory of 20,000 people. And um, based on the responses, he follows up with them um, quite annually, sometimes calls them back or messages them on WhatsApp and gathers all sorts of information like how many people are going, where they want to go, etc. And then goes them on guest lists into the clubs on the list that you can see here. So what we thought is that the process inevitably needs human interaction because the promoter is the one who knows the clubs, who knows the people, but the amount of human interaction can be reduced drastically. Uh, so if we're going to the demo, this is our architecture. So we have a store where we uh, store all the contacts and the clubs and whether uh, is there an event for each of the clubs uh, for today or not. Uh, we have a broadcaster uh, which can be scheduled as a Chrome job. It's a simple process which uh, takes all the contacts from the store and uh, Bait a message that you saw in the previous slide and just sends it to all the content, but spams everyone pretty much in this <laughs> in this store. Uh, then we have a responder service, which is uh, a web service running in the cloud. Uh, so SIM, uh, SIM will relate the messages, the responses to this service. And uh, this is the service that asks follow-up questions, for example, how many people they want to go out with. Uh, once you answer all the questions, the request for your booking is stored in another store, and uh, then this store is uh, 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 goes into another process which we call confirmator, uh, which is an iterator uh, through all the requests, and Francesco can uh, approve or reject uh, each of the bookings. Uh, we also have an audit log where we log uh, all the uh, Bookings that ever happened, uh, which feeds into a data analytics tool that can be used by Francesco for cool stuff. Uh, so, as I mentioned, uh, we use the uh, symbol to send and uh, receive text messages. Uh, the web service is uh, running uh, using Flash. Uh, the, uh, the database is <laughs> pretty much just a set of files currently. It was a hackathon, right? So, didn't go to report with that. Uh, uh, the broadcaster and the confirmator are simple scripts you can uh, run in the shell, and we used uh, Panda, Seaborn, uh, Matplotlib for data analytics, and everything is written in Python. So now for the demo. Uh, so now we'll see E. Francesco in action and send you out the first. So I, <laughs> so I started off the uh, responder server. Uh, first, uh, let's broadcast some messages, which is pretty much spam everyone in our contact list. So now I got the message. Uh, we see that tonight we have uh, three parties. I'm going to go to toy room, so I say number three. And then uh, <laughs> I get a message asking how many people do I want to bring. So I say it's going to be a crowd of six. And currently, this is the only follow-up question we have. So we finished our booking request, which is now stored in the backend. So Francesco can now go run the confirmator. And we see the booking that uh, each one wants to go to a toy room in a group of six. I can reply uh, why or uh, yes or no. Uh, or first, uh, I will just confirm the booking. And I will get a text message from E. Francesco saying we are looking for a toy room for tonight. Uh, so the other, this is the happy path, and everything, everyone is happy, and your booking was successful. But there might be a case that uh, the party that you selected can come accommodate your uh, party size, for example, for that night. So 
I want to go with a group of 12 now. Uh, my voting is done. So Francesco again uh, came with the confirmator and he's now going to uh, reject my booking because, well, for some reason the, uh, the club doesn't have enough spots for me. Uh, so then I will get another message from Francesco saying that my uh, request uh, couldn't be accommodated. Uh, do I want to uh, select another club for tonight? And this can go on until you will find a, find a club that can accommodate your booking. So, that was Francesco in action. Uh, automating this whole process also gives us a bunch of useful data that could help Francesco uh, in the decision making process uh, when it comes to um, future requests. So, what we've done. We then, with the audit log, um, is we did a bit of data crunching on that. Um, so, for example, we figured out, um, if you go down a bit, sorry, yep. Um, this is the crowd size that Francesco usually gets in, which is a beautiful bimodal distribution. You can see that most people are in either in a crowd of five or 11. Um, this gives some idea of um, what would be, what would be in coming. Yep, if we go further down, then uh, we see the most outgoing people on the top here who put 54 requests in, and um, these are the most usual cross sizes as well. Um, down at the bottom, we see for every contact their favorite club, their favorite crowd size, and their favorite day of the week to go up, which could also help in reaching out to them on those days. Uh, then we see a simple regression which shows us a negative correlation between the the crowd size and whether you're going to be booked in or not. So you see the more people you want to bring along, uh, the less likely you'll get in. Um, then we did a bit of analysis on the crowd sizes that the clubs allow in or not. So we see that usually um, if you go with more people, you are more likely to be rejected uh, entry to the club. Um, and then um, this is again um, the number of people who got into these clubs and the number of people who got rejected based on Francesco's requests. Um, and this is a booking matrix. So essentially for each people, each person and each club, there is a probability based on previous bookings, how likely are you to get into that club? And this is a heat map of all of that. So as you can see, um, each one is really um, not likely to get into Cuckoo. Uh, on the other hand, Mike in Tonsoria, that's a perfect match. Uh, then we did an analysis on the days, so uh, we at least Saturdays are, and Sundays are the um, most most popular ones. And uh, lastly, just a quick check of the days, so this is the number of requests uh, coming into Francesco based on uh, what the week is. Improvement points. Um, so since this was a hack, um, our data storage is just ours, um, so that could be uh, that could be developed. Uh, we can add more questions and responses. Uh, currently, we are only asking for which club and how many people you want to bring on. Um, there could be a graphical user interface for the confirmation of the bookings. Um, each one really wants to rewrite the whole thing in Java. Uh, um, we could also, add, based on the based on the audit log, we can add a recommended system to Francesco to help with. Um, future bookings, for example, the booking metrics that you serve with the probabilities, and there are many others that we do not have the time for now. Um, do you have any questions for us? Where did the data you did the analytics on come from? Uh, randomly generated to show like, some yes. data. Yeah. Cool. Oh, one job. Sorry? Why Java? Uh, it's my personal preference in production to not run Python, first of all. <laughs> I didn't like Java really much, so that's why. <laughs> Thank you.